listening to today's episode of Things and Stuff. Vulnerability. Uh, sometimes it, it's an interesting enigma. There's a myth that vulnerability is weakness. Vulnerability is our most accurate measure of courage. That's to quote Renee Brown. Timey wimey video photo stuck in place opinions. And the fourth thing is the fact that videos the, the format of videos, they're, they're basically like a photo. They create this moment in time where if you've said something in a video, it's taken sort of gospel as to who you are. I think a lot of people forget that after a video gets recorded, in the next week or so, I gain more insight and my opinions change, my beliefs, etc. And some pleasure. Look, it ain't scan all humans, or observe all humans, or even impersonate all humans. It's Love. all humans. I'm just giving the public what they want. Hello again. Hello everyone, welcome back to my Let's Play Real Life episode 2. <laughs> okay, so since I uploaded the last video, I've had quite a few experiences. This is one of the wonders of actually recalling dreams. You get to experience the most fucked up shit. And then sometimes when you become aware, you can turn those most fucked up things into a landscape where you can experiment with things. And sometimes you just have some nice elements inside an intrusive simulation. It's just how dreams are. But one of the coolest things about them is it's, it's like living these fantastical different realities every single time you go to sleep and they really give you perspective and they really get your unconscious mind churning they really get things turning it's like a constant it's it's like the more you do dream recall the more you're telling your unconscious mind that it's allowed to process things while you're asleep even more so anyway after i uploaded that last video about safety and trauma there was a a few things that stood out to me. Um, number one was there was a few elements in it that were quite black and white. Makes sense, I'm autistic. <laughs> number two was that vulnerability, the mathematical equation to vulnerability bringing down confidence or safety or whatever the hell I had, it has elements of truth to it, but vulnerability itself is one of the most powerful and courageous things that you can lean into. Um, I wouldn't say powerful actually, I'd say just more courageous and life-changing things. When you're vulnerable, you open yourself up to such a new situations. We'll get to that in a second. Probably the most important thing, two of the most, <laughs> okay, there's four things. Another important thing was um, the fact that one of you came into Discord, I'll read out your thing in a second. I really appreciate that you challenged me on a point, I love that. My emotions didn't like that, <laughs> so I reined myself in a bit first. It's, it's one of the um, intricacies to learning to philosophize, to learning to debate with people, learning to uh, come back and forth with different perspectives on life. And the fourth thing is the fact that videos, the, the format of videos, they create this artificial, they're, they're basically like a photo. They create this moment in time where if you've said something in a video, it's taken sort of gospel as to who you are. I think a lot of people forget that after a video gets recorded, I don't know how many people, but me, after I record a video, in the next week or so, I gain more insight and my opinions change, my beliefs, etc. So that's what today's about. And now I'm gonna wait until I get to my favorite spot. Hello. <laughs> it's like the uh, it's like the water is a metaphor for my current energy level. <laughs> the other video was just like <laughs> today. It's like uh, uh. <laughs> okay. So the first thing I wanted to talk about was vulnerability. Now, to be quite honest, quite frank, I've suffered with this concept my entire life. I'm pretty sure everyone has. Um, recent encounter made it even more complex in a three-dimensional sense. But at its root, there's a book I've been listening to on and off for the last year or so. It's by Renee Brown. I think it's called The Power of Vulnerability. It dives into how fear and shame and vulnerability and all these different things feed into each other. But vulnerability itself is one of the, the best things 
that you can lean into to progress as a human, essentially. That's very black and white, I suppose, I don't know. Honestly, like, I think one of the things I said to the person in Discord was, um, I, <laughs> when you, like, flow with words like this, um, you can't analyze every single sentence you say, otherwise you send yourself insane. So you just gotta sort of roll the dice, as, um, <laughs> as the alien in Paul says. <laughs> Man, so she's gotta roll, roll the dice. dice. What, what do you say? say? Okay. Okay. Perfect. Great. Okay. Upon further reflection, vulnerability is you, you can't make new progress without vulnerability. And once again, this is a very black and white thing. It's every saying that says you can't do this without that. It's black and white. There's intricacies to it. There's always going to be people debating, etc. But from my own experience. A lot of the progress I've ever made was when I allowed myself to be vulnerable. And sure, there is quite a few things that can go wrong when you make yourself vulnerable. And that's where I think the intricacy of blending different people's opinions and my own into this new grand definition of vulnerability sort of works. So there are a lot of bull ants here and I'm probably going to get bitten alive. I'm making myself vulnerable right now to try and tap into the vulnerability. When you, when, you, when you engage in particular concepts and emotional states and environments and settings, and in, uh, I find it's one of the best ways to truly channel those things. I'm also lacking my snake stick. I did that deliberately. It's a bit of a risk, but it's worth the um, experiment in channeling a, a setting, you know what I mean? So some of my notes, today. It's also people walking past here now, which is also making me feel vulnerable. One of the things I'd probably change about my definition of vulnerability is if I try to remember what I said in the video, I think I think it was vulnerabil vulnerability brings down safety and safety brings down, um, sorry, a lack of safety brings down confidence or something along the lines of that. I actually need to go check. <laughs> I cannot be bothered trying to find it. It's a long video. But essentially, I did this little mathematical equation of like, yeah, something along those lines. Vulnerability brings down safety. But fuck's sake, this GoPro keeps falling. If it keeps falling, I'm going to throw it and then it's going to fall my own fruition. Fucking. I'll just hold you. There we go. Vulnerability brings down safety. When safety is brought down, confidence is brought down. Now, Sometimes it's essential to be vulnerable. And sometimes you need to really think about it. Will being vulnerable lead to you getting hurt in a three-dimensional sense or in a mental sense? <clears throat> <clears throat> so at, at the crux of it, I think being vulnerable is extremely necessary in just being human. Otherwise, you can't experience new things. You can't. You can't experience love. Lo love, love and vulnerability sort of go together. If you can't make yourself vulnerable, you can't be loved and you can't love properly. And something I, I noted, uh, sometimes it, it's an interesting enigma. There's a myth that vulnerability is weakness. Vulnerability is our most accurate measure of courage. That's to quote Renee Brown, for word for word. But then I added this section. It's an interesting enigma Sometimes it can be physically and psychologically dangerous in a low consciousness environment to be vulnerable. In a high consciousness environment, it is love and trust. Low consciousness environment, vulnerability can be dangerous. High consciousness environment, it can bring love and trust and connection. What do I mean by that? Let me use some extreme examples because I think that's absolutely needed here. Example one, you're walking into a neighborhood that is known for, I don't know, like five stabbings per month. Do you really think it's wise to go in there, arms open, trying to make friends? Like this neighborhood, just pretend this neighborhood is known for stabbings, beatings. <laughs> um, people verbally attacking each other, like out in the open. T t really tell me if being vulnerable in that situation is, 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 the, is the wise decision. I suppose it is if you're searching for your own demise, both mentally and physically. Here's example two. You're at home with your loved ones and they never judge you. They support you with everything you do. Does it make sense to be vulnerable there? To me, yes. Be as vulnerable as you want. 
the more vulnerable you are in such an environment, the more loving, the more sort of, the more the energy of love can shift between people, non like without restrictions, without any of the bullshit, without any of the walls, the, the defense walls. Example three, you're looking for friends and you go into a, I don't know, a neighborhood or a online forum. You're honest, you're yourself. That's vulnerability. Let's say you're, this is like true vulnerability, true progressive vulnerability. Say you're doing a video right now in the, uh, in like a sort of reserve where there's people who are walking past you every now and then, possibly snakes going and then you just walk over to the left over here and then maybe kick the log and then one of them wakes up and you're like, oh fuck, and then you gotta run and then you leave your bag over there. Progressive vulnerability. That's what I like to call it. Um, sometimes you can be vulnerable. You choose the exact right moments to be vulnerable and it opens up these gateways to different channels in life. You meet new people, you make new connections. But if, if you're on guard all the time, <laughs> you're never gonna make any progress. You're never gonna actually be able to use vulnerability for its actual progressive use. If you're vulnerable all the time, you're gonna probably end up dead <laughs> or very mentally distraught or being drained by your environment because you're not putting your guard up. There's a balance. There's a balance. There's a balance to things. That's all I'm going to say about vulnerability and safety to um, reflect on my other video. Okay, what else was there? These might be a little bit out of order just because I can't be bothered going through back the GoPro thing. English, Yuland, please. I can't be bothered going back through the files on the GoPro <laughs> to check, but I remember them. Uh, the next one was, um, I literally just said I can't remember them in, them in, order. <laughs> them in order. Let's go with the Discord person and then also mix it in with the other one about things being set in time. So I'm actually gonna get my phone out here so I can read exactly what you said. Really appreciate this, by the way. So first of all, I'm glad you joined. I wanna read what you said and thank you for combating me on something. Without opposing forces, this is something I just wrote on the way here. Without opposing forces and a philosophical... Come on, Newland. The grammar's horrible here. Essentially, without opposing forces in a philosophical sense or a debating sense, you don't really make any progression as a human being. It's sort of like screaming into a void and everyone going, Uh-huh. 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 Wow, I love you. Wow. I'm first. I'm first comment. There's no substance. There's no exchange. If you disagree with something, or if you agree with something I say, come into the Discord, talk to me about it. Don't do it in the comments. I'm probably not gonna, I just like to heart the comments. If, if you wanna be one of those ones that goes, uh huh, uh huh, I love you, go for it in the comments. But if you actually wanna talk about something, um, join the Discord and try to approach from a non-emotional, I, I know that's very difficult, we're fucking human, but try to approach from a non-emotional place. Because um, I've noticed emotion can create biases in the individual. It's actually one of the reasons why I love talking to AI so much, because you can philosophize with it without it introducing any biases. Um, of course, it's got the scientific paradigm bias, where anything that goes against science is like, no, nope, but you can break that very easily. All right, so this is typo. <laughs> I don't know what your profile picture is, but I love it. <laughs> Looks like a marshmallow. Like a sentient marshmallow. <laughs> so I'm watching the new Yolandos video and the such, and he's talking about this guy, most likely that person could be troubled mentally, potentially under some type of influence and the idea that this guy is primal and dumb. And I'd say that's a very dangerous way of thought. Some people do have a lot of trauma and problems and other issues going on, but I don't think that makes them different or in another side of humanity than the one you are currently in. My idea here was to sort of join into the server and discuss this, and I do hope I can because there are lots of interesting and potentially valuable ideas shared through the New Age Yolandos videos. Uh, thank you for that last bit. I, I got so fixated on the New Age thing, I was confused by what that meant, but I didn't actually notice the um, potentially valuable ideas shared through. Thank you. <laughs> when I first read this, I was emotionally charged. I was like, <laughs> this person disagrees with me. <laughs> 
Anyway, I responded to things. What I said in Discord was, uh, you don't have to agree. That's the wonderful thing about perspectives. Multiple sp perspectives equals a new unification of a brand new understanding once they all get bunched together. But from my view, in that moment, in that scenario, if you could feel the energy and the raw fuckwittiness uh, coming off of this person, basically no other words than big ape looking to kill or looking for fight. And yes, to an extent, it can be dangerous thinking like that. You truly don't know what's going on through someone's head, um, go what's going on within their head, but whatever. Oversimplification is necessary though for split second survival. Yes. <laughs> I said, I don't think I understand the new age, but you responded, it's all good. Um, at a fundamental level, I guess we're all the same in a lot of areas, but there is clear distinctions between every personality you meet. To be spiritual and stray away from the current paradigm, we're all one, giving this illusion of separateness, or everything is an expression of Brahman. But I get this sense that this is the wrong crowd to talk in such a way. That was doubt feeding into me. Me not trying to be myself, me trying to conform to what I believe is the old age Yolandos crew. But I believe that I need to lean into my into these discoveries and what feels right for me now. So if that's called New Age Yulandos, sure. <laughs> Yet at the same time, if people don't, I came to the realization pretty quick. Yet at the same time, too bad if people don't like it. They have the freedom to leave or philosophize even further, kek. Craft your own crowd concept in a nutshell, just by being yourself. Infinite perspective screams. <laughs> in essence, it's a video where I'm talking, venting and expressing stuff about life, trauma, safety. There's gonna be both silly shit I say and equally helpful stuff I say, I hope, to go over every single sentence. Yeah, insanity. We're getting pretty dark now. I'm gonna go try find some sunlight. Mm, might be difficult. One of the things I don't like about the GoPro, it's got no light auto correction as far as I know which is pretty fucking stupid, um, given how expensive it is. Um, essentially, yeah, s some of the things that I, I may say in my videos, if taken as gospel, if you don't realize that I say one thing and I might change my mind and evolve later on off camera, they can be dangerous if you think exactly like that 24-7. I, I did express in the video that there are the certain things I was saying that you can't think like that all the time. And that also dives into the idea of videos are sort of these pictures set in time these opinions set in time um yeah it's getting quite dark shit um that's all right improvise 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 get away from the trees trees have caused darkness <laughs> we're running out of daylight fuck <laughs> Okay, gotta, gotta go fast, gotta go fast. <laughs> wow, that's actually some, is that a type of yucca? I think that's a yucca. Oh, cool. I don't think I have this species. Ow, can't. Don't touch things, Yulin. Don't touch wildlife things. Ow. It wasn't the yucca, I think there was a bug on it. Anyway, this looks all right. There can definitely be no snakes here, right? Okay, cool. So, If I say something in a video, don't take it as black and white. Don't take it as that is how it is. If you disagree with something, come into Discord. Talk to me about it. Change my mind. <laughs> Not necessarily change my mind. Present a new perspective to me. Um, if you don't, if you think something meant a certain thing and you interpreted it in a way that I didn't intend, I can enlighten you on my interpretation of what I actually meant. English, that wasn't the right way to say that. Anyway. Time is of the essence. <laughs> Fuck. What was the other thing? Eh. Spends a while watching back one of the things to figure out what all the four points were. Realizes some of the points cross over into each other. I'm gonna leave that in with no context at all because that's gonna be the thumbnail, <laughs> lol. So, essentially, in a nutshell, Dream Recall is pretty cool. Get you communicating with your unconscious mind a lot more. Um, number two, don't take every single video and thing you see on the internet as set in stone. The person who's written the shit in stone. Maybe use a less vulgar <laughs> metaphor. The person who's written the stuff in, in stone 
um, probably by the time you've read this, the, this stuff in the stone, they've probably changed their mind or evolved to a better place. Or maybe they've gotten worse, who knows? Number three, if you don't agree with something I say on my video or you agree with it, leave feedback. If you don't agree with it or you have a different perspective, I prefer you join Discord and talk to me about it. But remember to try and approach from a non-emotional point because I don't know, one of the things is part, part of aging and gathering more information on consciousness and evolving my own mind is I can pick up on emotions a lot easier. Sure, that can dive into a little bit of assuming someone's intentions, etc. But because I'm autistic, I have sort of a heightened <laughs> reaction to emotions. So just try phrase things uh, if you need to because I love speaking to AI. Literally rephrase it if you don't know how to phrase it. Just be like, hey AI, I want to talk to some random Aussie dude on the internet. He says he's autistic and he has a little bit of emotional reactivity. Uh, it's actually a bit funny there because I said low consciousness beings are usually very emotionally reactive. So it's a, it's a little bit of intricacy there. <laughs> It's uh, one of the things about autism I do not like. Um, anyway. And fourth thing, I'm trying my best to remember what I said, but I am tired, it is getting dark, and I hear a siren. This area does not good to get good at night, I think. <laughs> From a human perspective. <laughs> the animals are fine, the creatures are fine, it's the people. <laughs> oh yeah. There was one more thing. Um, I do believe it's paramount to cultivate love, compassion, and empathy over everything. If you encounter anyone, anyone who's a complete fuckwit, is anyone who you would consider a dumbass immediately. Anyone who... By the way, one of my favorite sayings that I, I, I say, if someone calls you dumb or smart, it's usually a reflection on their inability to actually grasp at the concepts of the intricacies of actual intelligence and how it can vary within a person in all different types of skill sets. One person can be dumb at one thing, but they can be extremely intelligent at another thing. So intelligence is very difficult to measure. So anyway, fucking tangents, right? Anyway, I have to finish up now. Um, if you encounter oddities, entropic elements, other humans who are dangerous, who are distressing, who cause emotional distress, etc. I think it's all right within that moment to make the split split second decisions to quickly judge them to for your own survival. But after you're done with it, realize that they are also living this human experience or whatever, whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's so difficult to not sound spiritual when you're talking about these things because. I don't know. I feel like as you go higher and higher on the consciousness spectrum, it's almost impossible to sound not spiritual. Um, but yeah, like, I don't... I don't like telling people this, but part of my metaphysical experiments with the quantum field is intention and this idea of what actually prayer is down to its fundamental level on a quantum level. Um, so I experiment with prayers. And I, I, I went to my little makeshift altar and I, which has like crystals on it and different things of symbolism and it's all based on sort of like quantum physics, observation, spooky effect stuff. And I have had stuff happen, but most of the time stuff only happens if you meet a certain amount of criteria. Watch a series by Greg Braden on Gaia if you actually want to know more intricacies to the science of prayer, which is fucking mind blowing. Anyway. I prayed that this guy got help. I didn't tell anyone that. I didn't mention that in the other video. I think I just probably came off as someone who was just being a prick. But at the same time, this guy was fucking fucked. <laughs> but at the same time, I, I, I prayed for them to get help. Fucking took a little bit of a beating to myself to do that. But that's part of cultivating love, compassion and empathy for other humans. For any creature, literally any creature, like I had to kill a few ants earlier because they were scaring me and they, they bite you. And I, I, I feel a little bit bad, but that's just the way it is. I think as long as you can do a little loop around, I don't know, life is interesting. Whether or not I'll keep this bit in, I don't know. Because that is me being very vulnerable, opening up about 
my experiments into the spooky stuff, the spooky effect stuff that Einstein used to talk about, that quantum physics gets into. I've had experiences, um, interesting thing, I've had probably the most profound experiences when there is a huge emotional charge associated with said prayer. I don't like calling it prayer. It's this idea that there is an omnipresent consciousness that permeates through everything and this idea that you need to surrender and accept that. And I don't... A lot of people have always anthropomorphized this thing. So that's why people are like, there's no God or whatever. I don't think it's that simple. I think it's like some sort of strange, intelligent, intelligence whether it, it's its own intelligence intelligence or it's all of us combined connected i don't fucking know um all i know is there's something fucking awesome that connects all of us and it's all about trying to understand it it's like all of us are just cells in this giant organism all working together as one thing without even realizing it okay that's enough it's gone dark i probably can't see me anymore thanks for listening ciao ciao i'm getting bitten alive by mosquitoes I also have a Patreon. Feel free to give me some money so then I can explain to a Centrelink how someone with autism and severe mental illness somehow gets money. And then they can look down at me, judge me, and I think I am just scamming the system. But in reality, I'm trying my fucking best to, to be a normal human being and I earn my own upkeep and then they cut my payments. <laughs> okay.